We're going to get started on Battlefield, which I think it's its first appearance on stream this evening. It's one of my favorite stages. It's interesting because usually in most matchups, Game Watch has trouble approaching because his approach options aren't necessarily the best in the world. But in this matchup, he can approach all he wants. <laughs> uh, well, there's the initial um, up tilt sequence there for Jay to get started. Oh, nice back air catching Meister just whiffing his approach. Whoa, that was a really good shield to up you there by Meister, but Jake firing right back with big F smash. Trying to catch Meister's recovery there. The back air, not quite going to do it. Meister recovering from above, but can't deal with the minecart, which got active just as he was landing. Big back air from Meister. But Jake stapes the mid stage of the minecart. He's not able to avoid that grab. Meister sent back off stage. He hasn't been able to use the bucket to deal with the minecart yet. Oh! And a down smash for a down tilt whiff. And Meister actually sneak, sneaks away with that first dock. Jake was definitely uh, uh, winning most of those neutral exchanges, but Meister with a really good call out there. And yeah, folks, we currently have the predictions open, so make sure to predict with your channel points to see who's going to win this match. Big up smash call out, that's going to do it. Meister, you know, give a watch of that percentage. Most of dead meat. Oh, there's the bucket coming out, but Meister, good decision though. Patiently wait out through the Elytra hitbox, not be in response. There's a drag down there, but Jake's able to escape before becoming victimized by the down it, the key. Oh, good spot dodge there, but oh, Meister, I don't know if Jake might have missed the input there. Meister was actually able to air dodge out of the uh, startup um, up tilt sequence. That was just interesting here. Jake setting up a wall. Meister decides to patiently wait it through and instead eats a fair for his troubles. Crazy thing Meister. here about this stage, honestly, it's just a song right now at the moment in time. Uh, the only song and dance that we are seeing here is between Jake and Meister. And unfortunately, the downer is such a good call, out too. If Meister wanted to be a little bit aggressive and try to go for a juggle, that essentially stops your opponent's aggression because they have to respect the sheer amount of knockback and damage you can take from Oh, no. Oh, he almost got the full sequence with the act, with the, the diamond axe there. But Meister just barely managed to avoid the up smash, but he can't avoid the down tilt. And Jake, whoo! Meister only managed to really rob that first stock. Otherwise, Jake was firmly in control there. And we'll see if Meister figures out some kind of answer in game two. Really strong showing, showing by Jake. Yeah, when you look at the down smash, honestly, it's just been paying off so much for Alex. Uh, anybody who means Alex, Steve, I'm just going to call him Steve as a whole, but anybody who means yeah. those characters, it's so good. You can use it with a trap tool alongside TNT, but it also sticks out from the stage. <laughs> but also, it's just a really hard thing to deal with as well because it's essentially a really great down smash. I honestly feel when it comes to Steve and Game & Watch, Game & Watch is cringe until Steve is on the stream and then Steve becomes the most cringe thing you can see. So honestly, it's kind of like whoever the chat prefers the lesser of two evils. Yeah. That said, right now, Meister's just having a hard time getting in on Jake. <laughs> nice call out there, catching the jump. The Meister firing back this dash attack and the, the bucket counter. Even though he was ready for the Elytra last time, it wasn't ready that time, and he wasn't ready for the Anvil either. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's good. And that sets up pretty much Jake to have to recover from the sides of the stage. But we already know how Jake can just handle that immediately with minecart. Back oh, he here. Broke. <laughs> he broke that ads on Meister's head. Yeah. Big that's... mine cart there. That would have been good if he... rely... Oh, no, go on. No, I was going to say, that would have been good Like if he can just rely... Yeah, like I said, rely on probably the um, smash armor that you would get from it early on. But at that point, it's really hard because the gold-powered minecart is one of the is really fast and can punish you for honestly going for a projectile or trying to get a read that you thought you had. Meister's also been kind of unlucky in this matchup. I think three times now he's gone for down smash and either just been slightly misspaced or gotten like the weaker hit that sent Jake either up or to the side without getting like the full yeah, knockback. Jake thriving the blast zone here. <laughs> escaping Meister. Grab here as Jade tries to extend his lead. 
Oh, no anvil for you. Meister denying him, but Jake able to recover just in time to get the steel chair right to the dome. Vance, why do you think Meister struggled to really like keep Jake juggled so far? You already, you already know the answer, man. My card. The minute Jake gets up on the yeah. air, first option is going to become available. What anvil? And you know that Jake can just camp out his opponents that way. Wow. You can see you can see where Meister might have been in the right there. Just seeing. Okay, no, that's good. That's good. Able to reflect that mine cart. Yeah, he's had success with reflecting the mine cart, like uh, so so. But that's probably the best one so far. Meister right now trying to bring this back, but. Uh oh, the spike. Oh, he almost got the second hit, too. Meister was just aware enough, but not aware enough to avoid the cart there. Big whiff punish for Jake. Oh, he almost got the F smash there. Meister was just able to spot dodge. The smash ultimate special. Spot, spot dodge smash attack. Oh, man. Meister just barely had enough shield. Actually, the second hit of the cart poked him. But he's now got Jake above him. Let's see if he can extend damage here. Oh, right into the back air. And the thing is that visually, Steve's aerials don't have that much startup. So if you're trying to like catch them right before moves coming out, you have to be so razor tight on your timing. And I think Maestro was just trying to collide with Jake as a prayer to keep on extending the damage there. And it just wasn't there for him. Yeah, pretty rough spot for Meister to be in right now with Jake up 2-0. Honestly, like I said, it's Meister can try to juggle Jake with the mini. He puts him up in the air. Like I said, he gets Anvil. If he puts him up to the side of the stage, he has gold-powered minecart because usually Jake will always have those tools available because he can just consistently mine for them in the neutral while avoiding you and punishing you for trying to be aggressive. This is definitely a matchup where you kind of have to somewhat play a little bit more passive and check to see how Steve approaches with his tools and then punish him for it. Hard thing about here is that you don't see Meister having a really good projectile, like something like Rob, Gyro, and Laser, or Boomerang in that aspect. And even then, you already know that Steve can just build anything with dirt blocks, you know, stone blocks, or anything like that. So it's more of a, like, bait... Wait and see, not bait and see. And that's the hard part is because you can't necessarily bait Steve because the one thing he wants you to do is that. He can definitely, he's definitely one of the characters that excel at playing lame because he gets rewarded for doing a lot when it comes to playing lame. Your best option, honestly, is just to check and see his commitment and then punish him with either an upbeat or even punish him for going for something a little bit more committal. But we'll see, man. Honestly, there's a lot that Meister's got that he can do, and it's just really difficult to see at this moment. So, uh, again, thank you so much for stopping by this evening. Ready? I'll ask you guys a funny question. Let me think here. Well, we were talking about... Actually, you know, what I want to know about chat is... <laughs> All right, Vance, ask away. What I want to know, what I want to ask chat is, do you guys think... Do you guys think lag checks are practical or impractical? That's what I want to know. The, I'll, I'll, the, I'll, the, they asked for a funny question. <laughs> practical? Okay. No, I'm curious. I mean, it's not a funny question, but. Oh, oh man. All right. Well, inspired by something in the, uh, the 2DG chat, what's everybody's favorite shiny Pokemon? Are we getting started? Oh, wow. We are getting started. My bad, everybody. Here we go, game three, as Meister switched to Samus. Okay. What do you think of this decision, Vance? Uh, Meister, because we right now currently, we don't have anybody to do a live check currently. I don't have Sable Select started. Uh, oh no. Oh. No, he's good, he's good. He's, oh, I never no, mind, I'm so sorry. <laughs> That was uh, unfortunate. Set Basically, of Meister elected to go random. Okay, well, that's, that's, not, for a, that's, that's not for a reason. Well, honestly, I do think Samus has some tools to give Steve a run for the money for sure. The, yeah. Honestly, just having great projectiles overall. You guys already know how strong Samus can be. I definitely think this is a high tier character. Back many air can deal opinions. with. Back air can deal with minecarts. Loans on there. You go. There's a trade, but man, Jake was ready. 
I have to wonder if Jake just happens to have this kind of matchup on lock as well. Look at that, he was able just to deal with well, Samus' big weaknesses, which is landing sometimes because of that drift. Oh, the good roll in by Meister. He has a chance to take the stock, but again, the minecart coming through in Jake's favor. Lands the big fair and catching the shield drop. But Meister able to even things up stock wise, the big F smash. <laughs> Jake fires right back. Uh, angel platform kills are funny. <laughs> oh, Jake was trying to take the Meister all the way off the side there with that minecart. Meister hasn't been able to successfully use Zare either. It might be too much of a commitment against um, Cart. Jake right now just out dueling him in neutral as well. That was a good trap setup too, but Meister managed to escape briefly, but not the Cart. Big back air from Jake. He saw Meister in disadvantage. Meister used the. Oh! That was unfortunate. I, I don't know if Meister's got his option confused or if he need to, he really needed to, I guess, tether or cover to ledge, but them's the breaks when you go random in winner's finals. But hopefully we'll see Meister have a little more success in losers.